Hi. Now in this tutorial we're going to look at integrals of sine x, cos x and sec squared x and I'm going to set you a few examples to do and we're going to also extend these ideas. And We start off with taking y equals sine x and you should know that if you were to differentiate this from previous results we've seen that if you differentiate it with respect to x you get cos x, cosine x or cos x for short. So if integration is the reverse of differentiation or the inverse of differentiation then if we're to integrate cos x with respect to x we're looking for something that we differentiated that gave us cos x and that was clearly sine x. So the integral of cos x with respect to x is going to be sine x we mustn't forget that constant of integration. And similarly, if we were to take y equals cos x and we were to differentiate this with respect to x, you should remember that dy by dx came out to be minus sine x. So if we were to do y equals minus cos x, then instead of dy by dx being minus sine x would have minus minus sine x which would be a plus sine x or just simply sine x for short. So what this means then is that the integral of sine x with respect to x must be minus cos x and then again plus c. Now we're not going to look at the integral of tan x but we are going to differentiate tan x. Can you remember what the differential of tan x is with respect to x? Well dy by dx came out to be sec squared x. Sec squared the same as 1 over cos squared x. So that means that if we had to integrate sec squared x with respect to x then clearly it's going to be tan x plus that constant of integration. So you need to remember these results. So we need to do a few examples then. So we'll start by doing say the integral of 3 sevenths sine x with respect to x. Now when you get a number in front of a trig function like this or any function for that matter what you can do is pull that constant out the front of the integral and so we get 3 sevenths times the integral of the function in this case it's sine x with respect to x. So it doesn't matter whether that was 3 sevenths cos x, 3 sevenths sec squared x you'd do exactly the same here. And then all we need to do is do 3 sevenths times the integral of sine x and as you can see the integral of sine x was minus cos x so you've got 3 sevenths times minus cos x well I'm going to put that minus at the front there and then we've got cos x and don't forget that constant of integration let's try another type let's suppose we had something written as 4 sec squared say x all over 5 with respect to x. Integrate that with respect to x. Now it might look different to what we had up here but we can still regard this as 4 fifths. So we get 4 fifths then the integral of sec squared x with respect to x. And then what is the integral of sec squared x? With respect to x, well it's tan x, so we just have 4 fifths tan x plus the constant of integration. Another one that you can often get is this, like the integral of 5 over sec x with respect to x. How do we cope with something like this? Well sec x is the same as 1 over cos x. And so we can think of this as 5 times the integral of 1 all over 1 over cos x. And that's integrated with respect to x. 
but we can clean this up. We can multiply top and bottom by cos x and we end up with 5 times the integral of cos x with respect to x. And the integral of cos x with respect to x is sin x. So we've got that this equals 5 sin x plus the constant of integration. Be careful, you could get something very similar to this, 5 over cosec x. It will be much the same, it will be 1 over 1 over sin x, so it will be the integral of sin x. So hopefully you should be able to cope with ones like that. Well I've got a short exercise based on a few more of these for you to try. So here's a few examples for you to try. And I've tried to make them a bit different towards the end, as you can see. So just pause the video, have a go, come back when ready, and I'll work through the solutions so you can check them out. OK, let's see how you got on. Well, the first one's fairly straightforward. Just here to demonstrate that you can pull this constant out the front of the integral. 2 sevenths then times the integral of sine x with respect to x. And the integral of sine x with respect to x is minus cos x. So put the minus at the front there, minus 2 sevenths cos x. And hopefully you haven't forgotten that constant of integration plus c. Now for this one, pull out the 3 eighths out the front, and then we've got the integral of 1 over cosec x with respect to x. So what is cosec x? Well cosec x is 1 over sin x. So we're integrating that with respect to x and then we can multiply top and bottom of this fraction here by sin x and we end up with the integral of sin x with respect to x. And we know that this gives us minus cos x. So, so put that with the 3 eighths and you end up with minus 3 eighths cos x plus the constant of integration plus c. And for this one, take out minus 4 sevenths and then you've got the integral of cos x with respect to x. The integral of cos x with respect to x is going to be sin x. So we end up with minus 4 sevenths then sin x plus c. And for this one, well, I just thought we'll give you a couple of terms here to integrate. For this one, 3x, we integrate 3x. That's going to be 3x squared over 2. Just add 1 to the power of x, x squared, and divide by the new power. And when it comes on to this term here, think of this as 1 8th times x squared x. So we'd pull the minus 1 8th out the front of the integral and we'd have to integrate x squared x, which is going to be tan x. So we get minus 1 8th tan x plus the constant of integration plus c. Now this one, a bit of a teaser here, just to see if you remember your identities. Can you remember that 1 plus tan squared x was identical to sec squared x? So this is in fact the same as integrating sec squared x with respect to x. So once we've got that far, that's no problem because we've done this so many times now, the integral of sec squared x is simply tan x plus c. Alright, well that brings us now to the end of this tutorial on integrating then sin x, cos x and sec squared x and hopefully you remembered then how to do it. And these examples should give you similar ones then to what you most probably will experience.